how UK firm paid for Iboho's 1.5 million Naira ticket for butchered Kotunu Hamburg flight reports. So guys, you're highly welcome back to Ninja Trends HD. Now, hmm, there's another matter for you guys. An unnamed United Kingdom based travel company reportedly helped Yoruba Nation activist Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Ibo, to pay for his budget uh, for his botched Kotonu Paris Hamburg flight. The ticket was paid for in the British pound sterling using a check as means of payment. It was reported by Punch. On July the 1st, Iboho's house was raided by operatives of the Department of State Service, DSS, who killed two of his associates and arrested others. However, the activist escaped the invasion but was arrested at the Kotunu, the Kotunu airport on July 19, 2021 by the Republic of Benin authorities. A source previous to his um, departure from Nigeria and said he had perfected plans to secretly escape from Nigeria through Kotonou and was heading to Germany. He was however nabbed by security operatives in the neighboring country. Meanwhile, the Nigerian government assembled at least six lawyers of the core the Appel de Kotonou Benin Republic in a bid to secure the extradition of the Yoruba nation agitator. It was learned that the lawyers, both French and English speaking, uh, speaking however, failed to conv convince the, uh, the court after a 13 hour trial as to why Ibo should be extradited. The court session took no less than 13 hours because of frequency in, in between. Also, the Beninese court system is different from the system of law in Nigeria. Nigerian courts have an adversarial system of justice, but the Benin Republic has an inquisitorial system, a justice system in which the judge takes the matter on himself to inquire like an investigator, asking questions and probing the two parties, a legal source said. So the court was actually investigating the three, ma the three main allegations brought against Ibohu by the federal government of Nigeria, which claimed that Ibo was a gun runner, a terrorist, and a criminal who wanted to divide Nigeria. All this could not be proven by the lawyers, the source said. The Yoruba nation agitator is still facing trial in the Republic of Benin as his lawyers continued to battle the West African nation's government for his release. However, the investigation by the newspaper shows that Ibo was to travel on Air France from the Republic of Benin via France to join his family in Germany on July the 19th, 2021. He was to travel on flight AF700, which would depart the Republic of Benin for France before a connecting flight to Germany. The Cotonou Paris Hamburg flight was to depart Cotonou Airport at 11:35 p.m. and arrive at the Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport at 5:20 p.m. the following day, July the 20th, 2021. Ibo was then expected to connect his next flight at CDG by 9:30 a.m. to arrive at Hamburg Airport by 11:40 a.m. on the same day. However, he could not make any of the flights due to his arrest by the Republic of Benin authorities. The UK travel firm, which bought the ticket using a check as means of payment, had since claimed the ticket refund. It was gathered that the business class Cotonou Hamburg ticket had cost. Two thousand six hundred and eighty-five pounds. That's one point four eight million naira. So, guys, what's your thought on this? Do you think this information is actually correct, or do you doubt the authenticity of this report? Leave it in the comment section. We'll be bringing you guys more interesting topic on Sunday Boo and the rest. The matter is becoming more heat up. More eyes are on it. It was gathered that uh, former President Olusegun Obasanjo went to meet the Cotonou uh, president, their leader, in respect to Ibohu's case. 
so still on it we'll be bringing you guys bringing you guys more investigation and more finding out on what is actually going on in Benin republic with the case of sunday boho thank you very much guys for watching don't forget to subscribe leave a comment see you